Hello traders, I'm Orlando for Tradimo and uh, uh, let's have a look at this crude oil chart. Uh, now I'm going to give you my analysis on crude oil, uh, but first of all let me show you this signal that uh, we just sent out. Uh, we sent it out on Monday, July 15th as you can see, this Monday, to go, to go um, short on crude oil at 59.80 with a stop loss at 61.05 and uh, we did uh, as you can see at the bottom of the chart July 15th 2019 um, and uh, uh, we got filled at 59.80 with a stop loss above the highs and uh, we hit our profit targets at around uh, uh, well at around 57 so big big win for the team and if you're not a premium subscriber just click on the link below now uh, let's on to the analysis. Um, we are already short, and some of you might think that this is a crazy idea because we are in an up move. The immediate up move is this one. So we started here, and then we move all the way up here. We made a new low, and then we made a new high. All right. So we are making higher highs and higher lows. But what happened here is that we encounter a lot of selling pressure right here. Um, yeah, right here at around the 60, 50 to 61 level. As you can see, I pointed that level out with two uh, blue lines. And the reason I pointed out with two bl blue lines is because of this. This is the big, big level that we encounter or where sellers were positioned um, because it's the, it's the level where buyers were positioned and buyers were protecting up until we got there, right? As you can see right here, uh, we got to this level. We got to, we got to this level, and uh, then we started to trade in a range. This is where buyers were stepping in, protecting this level, but then sellers took it out or swiped those all those buy orders and took a uh, price in crude oil all the way to the 58, 50 or or I'm sorry to the, or all the way to the 51 at a big, big, big um, uh, bearish target at the 361.8% retracement of uh, this uh, flag, all right? Now, a uh, big, big level that we took uh, in consideration there, not only that, but this is this was the 61.8% retracement of the entire move to the downside. So we moved from A to B, and then we retraced back here to that 61.8, all right? And uh, all in considering, all right, let me just thicken this chart out for you guys, because uh, no, I mean, I, not I only took in consideration this, um, well, these uh, uh, calculations uh, or these levels, but also the math behind it, all right? So uh, we our entry was uh, below this low because we missed the first one here. I think so, yeah, that's uh, 59.80. No, I'm sorry, our entry was here, below this low at 59.80 all right and this was our stop loss our first target was here so we were actually getting a better than a one uh, to two risk to reward ratio and that is another reason that we took that trade because uh, even if we had getting stopped out of the trade in the long run taking this uh, position will generate money because i've done the re i've done the um, the back test on my I mean on my own uh, trades and uh, I know that this exact setup has at around a 70 percent uh, uh, chance to go my way and not only that with a better than a one to two risk to reward scenario I'm always taking this trade all right so uh, let's go back to the analysis so big level that we hit here and as you can see we have hit uh an important one at uh, the 5630 which are these lows not only are not only um, this important because of the lows but also because of this we are retesting this trend line that started all the way back in june 2019 but i mean uh, this push to the downside is extremely strong all right so i wouldn't be I, I mean, I'm still kind of bearish uh, 
I, and I say kind of bearish because um, we are not, uh, we haven't broken with the uh, bullish structure and we haven't broken with the previous lows, all right? So uh, for me to be extremely bullish in crude oil, we would need to break with this low right here, all right? This is what we need to break with in order for me to be extremely bearish. So uh, considerations all being taken care of, what I would like to to uh, see is just a break of this trend line, maybe hitting this uh, uh, 618 uh, retracement of uh, the entire move to the upside. All right, hitting that 618% retracement and uh, retesting this broken level right here for a bearish continuation. And that's only technicals. I'm talking about only technicals. All right, but there's a there's another scenario that might be uh, uh, in play here. And that is a bullish continuation. So we are testing a big level, like we said before, right here. So, uh, and not only that, but we are testing this trend line. Okay, this is only technical, so I'm not going to get into fundamentals. We're just analyzing price action in crude oil. And uh, what might happen here is that we, we are retesting this level and we might be on another bull run for that um, 60, 50 to 61 uh, uh, level of high uh, uh, resistance, okay? This means, I mean, what I mean is that we might be bouncing here for a bullish continuation for a retest and a possible break of this level at uh, the previous highs right here. So uh, yeah, we are still bearish. We are, I mean, we are still in a bearish um, trade right now. And that is that is the reason that we are going to move our stops from here to above the previous high. That This way we are going to be locking in profits and we are going to be protecting ourselves from the possibility of a bull run. But in any case, this is what I'm looking at in crude oil. Um, and if you enjoyed this uh, analysis or if this analysis um, had value to you or added value to you, click on the link below and I'll give you 50% off of your premium subscription where you will get this kind of analysis every single day.